something. Uh oh. Okay. All right, Frank. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Sorry. Frank. My finger wasn't working right there. To, <laughs> you need to, to get do my, these little exercises. Nah, it doesn't that. work. I, that finger, I can't. I can't make that happen anymore. Good for you, Frank. There's something else to be thankful for. <laughs> I can go both ways there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you know, you do amaze me. No doubt yeah, about well, that. You know. So anyway, Frank, uh, just uh, my very uh, been very prayerful for the what what appears to be the most devastating storm to ever hit hit the Florida coast down there tonight. I think the most devastating one to hit anywhere. I mean, this is truly catastrophic. And uh, I was up very early this morning watching the Weather Channel and, and catching the news and whatnot. And there's there's a lot of people. Well, I'm not going to say a lot, but probably more than I would like to know, though, that think that they need to to stay and try to ride this thing out. And so I'm certainly praying for them. I think there might be those. I was telling Darlene here a few minutes ago, there's a very elderly couple in Sarasota that said they're not they're not they're not going to relocate or do anything. And it's almost like I think they feel like maybe this is their time and and they're ready to go so well i don't know uh then along with all that frank um you know during during um the day yesterday um i was listening to uh all this there there's just a lot of complaining going on um about you know oh this or that right and he, you know and i don't get involved in that ever um you know gotta let people vent i'm a good one to vent to i think uh in that regard but it's just and i never said anything like wow well i hope you realize you know that there's people about to be devastated down in you know <laughs> in, in florida and uh you know but we just we can all get wrapped up in our own lives and uh you know, an uncomfortable thing happens. And we, and it's, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say, Frank, is we need to start looking at and, and taking a bit of an inventory on, um, you know, what's going on, on in our lives and how, how, how can we deal with, with this? Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm searching for ways to uh, even remotely. I lived in Florida for 11 years. So, but, but it was, you know, back in the starting in the early late night, uh, late nineties, and through a lot of the two thousand, well, not a lot of, them, but the mid two thousands, and uh, you know, I never had to deal with with this. But from the standpoint of just going, man, our you know our lives are good, and uh, we got families dealing with children who are not going to get out of the hospital, and 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 uh, our incredible men and women who who have fought for our freedoms and lost their their limbs some losing their minds which breaks my heart but a lot of them have given up their the ultimate sacrifice for us and it's just a remembrance of how for the most part most all of us were very blessed and lucky and fortunate in jeremiah um chapter 25 chapter 31 in verse 25, God says this, Frank. He says, for I will fully satisfy the weary soul and I will replenish every languishing and sorrowful person. And I'm going to read that one more time because this is amazing. For Jesus said, for I will fully satisfy the weary soul and I will replenish every languishing and sorrowful person. Jeremiah 31, 25. So pretty much right there, Frank, lands the uh, the uh, proverbial hammer on top of that nail's head. So right there, he will. 
providing once again, it's our trust and our love and our confidence and all that. And yes, we'll get shattered, shaken in our, in our daily lives. But uh, once again, God will, he will restore. He will replenish because he is our faithful father. So Frank, that's uh, in, in all of this stuff that's going on. That's where my little head's been at. And, uh, so I'll kind of throw it over to you and say, Frank, Patrick, you got anything you'd like to add to that? Just prayer. Oh, Lord, uh, as as we look at the devastation left by Helene and see this storm Milton coming, uh, we're, Pat and I are safe here in Indiana, but we, um, we grieve for those who are about to suffer and, and we humbly, Amen. We humbly beg you uh, for mercy. Send your grace, share your grace with the people in the path of that storm. Please, God, yes, please send that. And and protect those who have to work out in it and who have to work afterwards. Uh, Lord, have mercy on all of us. And have mercy on on those people in Florida, and the, and the state of Florida, and and uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee. Lord, you have the power to heal. You have the power to restore. And you have the power to bind Satan, the destroyer. And we put this storm within your will, Lord. And if it is within your will, we ask for, for it to be turned away. And if it must come, Lord, let us, let us respectfully ask for your mercy on, on all the people, the animals, and and all of your creation that is in its path. And Lord, we don't know how these storms have, have been caused. Oh, we don't know all the reasons. Some people say global warming. Some people say climate change. But Lord, whatever the reasons, guide us to respond to Mother Nature, to the planet that you have given us. Let us respond in respectful and loving ways for the good of all. And, and bless us that we may restore the garden that you have given us. Amen. And Lord, now let us all prepare for whatever it is that comes with love and compassion and faith in you. In the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Beautifully said once again, Frank. Well, you know, well, all I can do to keep from crying, Pat. Amen, I know. That suffering, I, it's, is, that suffering is it, real. People it's, uh, are, uh, it's it, you know, and I've, I mean, I'm putting, it's just easy to get filled with the stress of, even though we're thousand miles removed, it's so easy to get filled with the stress of just worrying and just, but so that was a beautiful prayer, Frank, and God, please have mercy. Show your mercy, God, Amen. on those, especially Amen. those that that are elderly or just can't feel like they can't, they don't have a way to get out of the way, God, have mercy on them. Amen. Amen. God. Frank, I love you, brother. I, I, I thank you. And uh, um, I, uh, we'll, we'll chat later today. There's a lot going on here at the 
at uh, Sycamore. And uh, so anyway, I, I just love you, Frank. Well, give everybody there my love. Oh, well, always do. Always do. All right, my brother. Love you. See you, brother. Love you.